Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess. I just started doing your reading and the I looked up and the camera wasn't going so I'm not sure if I've pressed it or not now. Um, firstly, let me set, just give you a reminder that um, I'm looking for personal stories from people to put in a newsletter to share with others about your experiences. I don't mind if you use a bogus name. Um, and I certainly don't mind if you don't want to be known and just let that put that in your email or your writing um, and I, I'm absolutely 100% fine with that. Okay, anything about your personal experiences, how you've awakened, what sort of process you've been through, what may have been the catalyst for that happening, you know, your relationships, whatever it was for you So, um, and what sort of process you've undergone. I just think it would be extremely helpful for other people to read about your experiences. All right, I'm using the Cosmic Tarot here. It's funny, isn't it? I, you know, being a medium, I often pick up on things and sometimes I can actually smell people smoking around me even when there's no chance of anyone smoking around me. So I've got somebody who's trying to get a message through here. Um, this here is the Prince of Cups. Now, he is representative of the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but don't necessarily apply it to those signs. It's more about his characteristics. Now, the Prince of Cups is coming in with an offer, and I have a vague feeling we had him in the What's Cracking reading straight up. So that's very interesting. I'm not quite sure that that's happened before. Um, he looks different in this deck, but he still has an offer here for you. And it could be an offer of love, or it can be an offer of something that you're going to love. So whatever this is, it comes forth with love. This person is bringing it with love. Their emotions are fully behind this offer. Um, we do have the King of Wands behind that. So you could be getting an offer from a Leo, Sag or Aries. But I can't discount the fact that this guy here is a manager, a leader. He could be somebody in an organisation that's offering you this opportunity to move you forward here. This particular person is very, very attractive, charismatic, has lots of energy. He knows what he's doing. He often business, runs his own business. He's clever. But there's an offer coming through from the King of Wands. Now... This card here, the Nine of Wands, talks of boundaries. Um, and in this particular scenario, I would say to you, there's a very strong sense here that you need to understand your boundaries here. Um, being clear to who you are, being true to who you are, making sure that you are you know, abiding by what is your greatest good. Um, if this is a romantic thing, you know, it may be putting down the guidelines or the rules for what you expect. And I don't really mean guidelines and rules as in number one, you must do this. Don't do that because your expectations should never be set so high that someone can't get there. And that's what you don't want to do with boundaries. But certainly, you know, things like what you would have in what you would like to have in a relationship and what you don't think or what you think may be a deal breaker. Very interesting. Oh, beautiful. So we have the emperor coming through behind that. So I really feel like this is a love reading for some of you. Um, and this person is someone who means a lot to you. Could be someone you've dealt with here who's a Leo, Sag or Aries. But this person here is really, um, oh, look. And then we have the lovers behind that. So definitely a love reading. Okie dokie, let's get some more information. All right, first we have the Wheel of Fortune, which too came out in the What's Cracking read. So there's definitely an element today where the reading might be a little bit similar to the What's Cracking, although it feels different to me. This is about the universe saying, right, guys, you've done everything you possibly could. We're going to take over now and we're going to do it. Or it can mean you haven't quite done what we expected you to do and we need to come in now and do the right thing. Or it could be you haven't been quick enough, you needed to get off your butt, you haven't done that, and now we're taking over. Whatever way it is for you, this is the universe saying you have done what you could do within your capacity. Now the universe needs to step in and get the job done. It's about karma. It's about karma. It's about, you know, something needing to be done that hasn't been done in the time allocated. That's divine timing. So there's sometimes the universe has to step in. So, for example, if you've been in a job forever and all you talk about is getting out of the job and you can't seem to find the right way of doing it, then the universe will come in and make sure that that job goes for whatever reason. 
If it's a relationship and you can't get out of a relationship and you've tried everything in your mind to try and free yourself from that and you haven't been able to do it, then the universe will usually step in and get something done. At least start the process again. Revamp it. Kickstart it. All right, so we then have the Princess of Swords coming out here. So the Princess of Swords is equivalent to the Page of Swords in the, in the traditional tarot. This can be about stalking, somebody watching you here, something here. It could be that somebody needs to talk to you, but they're holding back. Um, and they're just keeping an eye on things at the moment. Interesting. Alrighty, Ten of Wands coming out. Two came out in the What's Cracking reading. End of a cycle. Um, something needing to be closed here. This is why the universe is stepping in because you're carrying too much weight around with you at the moment. Um, sometimes this can manifest as physical pain. So if you're experiencing bad backs or shoulders, things like that, it can be because you're closing out a cycle and you're carrying around what you need to put down now. Da-da! Ace of Swords. Yes! So this is a truth. This is a brand new start that is based in truth. You're not living the way you did before. You have clarity, you have purpose, and you're moving forward with that. Two of Swords. So you may have had to have made a decision that wasn't really fine for you. For going back to the idea of the Wheel of Fortune, it could have been that you got to a stalemate in trying to make a decision here. Um, but it looks like you're cutting something out now because the Wheel of Fortune is here. So I'll give you a good collective read when I've finished. But something here you didn't want to make a decision on or somebody else didn't want to make a decision. King of Pentacles. Now the King of Pentacles is representative of the Earth signs. But this guy here always comes up as a husband or a partner. And I feel like you're dealing with someone here who has not. So I, this is flipping because this person here is the person that hasn't followed through and is now sit, is now standing in their truth. Yet yeah, you've had someone here who's let something go and I think it's a relationship. Um, there's codependent stuff here and this person's found it very difficult to walk away from this. But I feel with this Wheel of Fortune, the universe is stepping in now to cut this out and move you forward. All right, yeah. <laughs> and moving forward, Eight of Cups. Um, so moving away from things that no longer emotionally serve you. I look at this card. I'm always looking at cards and seeing things. I have the most tremendous imagination. This card looks like John Travolta. Um, <laughs> when he had lots of hair. Okay, Three of Pentacles here. Um, so wanting to work on something now, something's changing here. But let me just get into the general energies. Beautiful strength card was also there in the What's Cracking reading too. So a lot of repeat cards, but we're going towards the love stuff now as What's Cracking was sort of like quite general and quite applying to different things. Someone's making an offer, quite possibly someone you find very attractive. Um, you could already have feelings for this person. There needs to be some boundaries in place, though, because to move forward on, on the love here, you don't want to have a situation where somebody misinterprets what's been going on here. But I think someone's been trapped in some sort of situation here, some sort of thing about the ego. So it could be to do with codependency. It could be that you've been dealing with someone who's had addictions, who's finally getting pushed to do something about it. Um... They could have had some sort of epiphany moment here, especially with this Ace of Swords here and the Ten of Wands next to it. So somebody now, you know what, for some of you here, I tell you what it feels like to me. It feels like somebody's been keeping an eye on you and you may have, you may have either been in another relationship or you might be moving into another relationship. And now there's this like panicky thing now to get things done here. Because the universe has done something to get it moving. Definitely ending a cycle, definitely starting something with truth. Something that someone has deliberated about for a long time. They've been stuck here with this two of swords and unable to move forward. I really feel that this is the person you're dealing rather than yourself. But I could be you could be flip-flopping here. Someone has now found the strength to realise they want to work on something. And they're moving away from what's held them back. 
whatever it is that's held them back here, they've been refusing to come to some sort of arrangement or conclusion in order to move forward because of this codependent ego energy. But now it's like the wheel has turned now and you're something is changing in this situation to help someone gain the strength um, and have a focus or a purpose to move forward. I feel like this person's been keeping an eye on the situation for a long time, um, trying to understand how to do this um, and keeping an eye on you perhaps to see what you're doing in your life, but they haven't, they haven't been able to let go of what's been holding them back. But now they're about to. So if you've been waiting on someone, if this is someone from your past, could be someone brand new here that's just got you in their sights. They've been keeping an eye on you. They could be someone who was married, who's moving away from a married situation to move towards you. But again, with this sort of codependent, devilly energy here, says to me that they were having a lot of trouble pulling away from some situation that they felt very bonded to. So the card that's come out here is to be fair, and it's card 38. Okay, so the essential meaning is balance, justice, a need to consider options, mutual benefit, and the law of cause and effect. Life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing, yet over time they strike a balance. You move from being from stasis to doing, from discovering, to loving, to letting go, to being again. Life is a pendulum swing in between all of these states. You will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment and you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow. <laughs> Karma. For every cause there is an effect, wondrous things will be revealed now. So there you go. That's the Wheel of Fortune turning there. It came up in both readings today. So very interesting. Universe getting to work because things aren't moving along. Have a fantastic Thursday.